Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another video. Now in today's video I'm not doing a review but again I'm going to be showing you how to make another simple cocktail. And in today's um, video I will be making a just a, a very nice gin and tonic. I guess they're kind of one of my favorite go-to. Um, you can't really go wrong with them. Um, and say most good you say you can pretty much find a nice decent gin to use um in your in your gin and tonic at whichever bar you go to so if you're usually not too sure what to go for or you just want to whip yourself one up at home then here we go i'll show you what i'll be doing so first off um i've got my glass with ice now i generally like to use like a uh, like a, a rocks glass for my gin and tonics um I will be using, say for my gin today, I am using the Holdfast Distillery um, London Dry Gin. Um, this is an Australian gin, again, another New South Wales um, based distillery, so uh, using some good local product. Um, I've got my Schweppes Bright Tonic. Um, you can get these at, say, most um, supermarkets quite easily. And um, I've really been enjoying, I guess, like this new range of the, the Schweppes. Um, tonic so these have been really good um, for me the other thing that I also like to add into mine is lime um, if you don't have lime you can also use lemon but uh, my own personal preference is using lime so first things first I'm going to squeeze the lime in there um, for me as well since I also do like having the nice extra citrus flavor um, one thing that I like to do is also just to wipe the the rim of the glass with the lime as well and then just <laughs> throw that in there next up i'm going to be pouring my gin i think most places will generally use about a shot so about 30 mil it's really up to you to how much you want to use so i'm just going to free pour and for me that will do the cork back on like i said that's the hold fast london dry gin and then all you need to do just top it up oh, with your favorite tonic and there you go a very nice easy to make gin and tonic always refreshing um perfect summer drink unfortunately we are going into winter time so probably not always the best time for it but um still enjoyable nonetheless so absolutely beautiful now again this is something that you can very easily make yourself at home um, just pretty much use whatever you've got so um, whatever say whatever your favorite gin is that you like to use and your tonic water and there you go you're ready to go now if you've enjoyed this type of video then please let me know in the comments down below um, I do kind of like mixing a few drinks every now and then so this is a, a good way to show I guess to show them to you um, but yeah I'll say if um, if you've got a, a different take on the classic gin and tonic let me know in the comments down below as well I would like to try it out and see how it is but um, I think for me I'm gonna leave it at that now um, also stay tuned so I will be doing a review of this gin in the not too distant future it will probably be one of my next couple of videos or so so stay tuned for that so don't forget to um, subscribe and hit the bell notification and I will see you all again on the next video. Get this. Fantastic. Bye-bye.